Hey guys, so here with Chicken Bulldogs. I will be introducing a mini series to my channel. This series is called Ways to Keep My Chickens from Escaping My Yard. For those of you that are new to my channel, I live in a suburb of Minneapolis. I have, I'm allotted to have up to four chickens and I have four chickens in my backyard. I don't have a permanent fence. I have a chicken wire fence, which is good for the most part, but lately, my chickens seem hell-bent on going into my neighbor's yard, which has more tree cover, brush, and fun things to forage for. So without having to invest a ton of money on getting a new fence, I decided to try some cheaper ways to see what can keep my girls in the yard. So here it is, guys, the first installment of a few. Trial number one, scare tape. So here's the problem I've been having all this year since the snow has melted. My chicken right now is in my neighbor's yard. That's Pot Pie, the black one. It's been constant. The north side and south side neighbors have been getting a lot of chicken visits and it's getting pretty old. And I'm running out of aches to gift them as apologies. So I need to figure out a permanent solution. So it's been a minute, but I finally got up to the hardware store to buy some of this flash tape. This is basically Mylar ribbon and um, it's supposed to scare birds and other critters away. I'm gonna string this over the top of our chicken wire fence. And hopefully this will keep our girls from venturing into our neighbor's yard and uh, overstaying their welcome. All right, so as you can see, I did already start one roll. Hi, baby girl, look how big she's getting, you guys. Uh, and it's kind of just draping here and I kind of want it to be loose. I want it to like flap in the wind and supposedly scare the birds, which is what the scare tape is. So I'm gonna start on roll number two. All right, so now I got it to the corner. Yes, you stop destroying my yard. She just digs holes when nobody pays attention to her. Uh, so now I got this kind of wrapped around here and I'm gonna kind of continue this around the perimeter of the yard. I bought four rolls, they're 50 feet long each. Hopefully uh, this is enough. This is where they like to take their dirt baths now. Our puppy was digging in it and made quite a huge hole. Quite a huge hole. Yeah, Sterling, I'm looking at you. Okay. And this is where the quality of film starts to take a nose no. here as my puppy Sterling. decides that she's going to try to bite yeah. my phone out of my daughter's hands. Ah. And God looked at Sarah and said, this is your life now. All right, so I got a lot left over. Um, I'm gonna call this good for now. I just did uh, the areas where they tend to sneak over the most. Um, I don't see a sense in wasting this in areas where I know they really don't like to sneak through. So one or two things is gonna happen. Either this isn't gonna completely work at all and they won't register this as anything scary. Um, or this may keep them in the yard or they may summon the courage to find a new escape route and hopefully I'll be able to see that. But um, we're- I found a hole where they can sneak through. Follow me. Okay. Look at this. They're not even scared. It's like they don't even see it. It's just another thing that they have to navigate through to get in and out of our yard. It's just, what a waste. So, obviously this scare tape isn't scaring anybody. <laughs> 